Okay, let's uh, go through and just talk a little bit about using the FBA toolkit. Uh, the only thing we need, oops, the only thing we need uh, from the FBA toolkit is to get estimates, uh, um, sales estimates. So we'll come into uh, something like this. We've got uh, Amazon product here. If we scroll down and find, um, so right here, uh, it's number 20 in movies and TV, DVDs, action and adventure. Um, number 228 in movies and TV. Now that's what we're looking for is the top ranking um, or top category and uh, ranking in the top category. Okay, So that number right there is what we take over to FBA Toolkit. And we're going to go down and look for, we're looking at these titles here. And so movies and TV, if it's number 228, how many sales can we expect? Um, so uh, estimated sales per day, 31 per day, 19 yesterday. So it gives us an estimate of how many sales we can get or can maybe expect. Now this is sales, these sales would be distributed amongst all sellers who have buy box rotation. And uh, so that's the next thing we have to look at is how many sellers are um, are in the buy box rotation. So here we can see that there's a third party FBA seller. Uh, you see that in the pink box there. Um, over here, Amazon has it. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. And you're going to see that a lot where they're selling it. So there's a third party. So they're sharing the uh, buy box a little bit, but uh, um, not necessarily a lot. So don't expect to get a large portion of those sales necessarily. So that's, uh, that's what we use the FBA toolkit for, is find our category and enter the sales rank in there. If our product is not ranking in a top level category, then we really don't have a way to estimate the data there, okay?